This is Terry Wager. Uh, the date today is March 4th, 2015. Got a fucking pedophile Portland police officer hanging out right here next to my apartment. Uh, this is the same son of a bitch that I've caught previously on video. Uh, that came from the apartment directly below mine. Uh, they were on a previous video, they were pounding on a damn, they were in the apartment directly below mine. They were pounding on, uh, uh, making a lot of, a loud pounding noise uh, that came from the wall area right down here uh, next to where my refrigerator right here is at. And uh, which it would be the equivalent of them being in the apartment down below and them hitting the wall way the fuck up here like that. That was, that's the equivalent of what they did, and I caught them on video. And the person he was wearing uh, plain clothing, but he was wearing a Portland police jacket. And he went into a red pickup truck that was parked in the parking lot out here. Um, and on another video, uh, I proved that this person was deliberately and intentionally uh, walking in front of my apartment. And he stood at my doorway. He wasn't knocking. He just he just came from. <clears throat> they had their red pickup truck parked over there, and he's with some bitch. And the bitch was down in the waiting down below for him. And he just walked. He came up the stairs and he walked this way, and he got right in front of my stairs. And when I got out, of, when I noticed it, I was recording a vlog when he did this. But <clears throat> and I got out of my chair. In the moment I got out of my chair, he was booking it this way. And by the time I got to the doorway here, he was booking it down the stairs. So I went out on video. I went outside and got them on video, and he was he was booking it. And they were grinning. They were fucking grinning about this. <clears throat> and they were blowing whistles and shit like this out there. <clears throat> they were hanging around near my apartment, and they were blowing whistles and shit. Well, now this son of a bitch is standing right in front of the apartment, right next door to me. So this son of a bitch is right now, currently, right now is in this apartment right next door. So the Portland Police Department has this apartment under their control, directly below mine. They have this apartment right next door to me. And it's the same son of a bitch uh, that was uh, from this apartment directly below mine. And right next door to this apartment that's directly below mine is the apartment manager down below. Um, so they have my apartment completely surrounded with these fucking pedophile cops. Um, they were using uh, sting tactics uh, to frame me uh, for crimes that these officers committed. Uh, my wife was having sexual relations with uh, Portland cops. Uh, she was sleeping around with uh, multiple cops. Uh, there was uh, one named Officer Eric Carlson that she was mostly sleeping around with. But she was also sleeping around with an officer, uh, John Ray, and there was another officer, by, and the only name that I have to associate with this other officer is, she, is Shannon. Um, that's the name that she gave me of this person. Whether it's his name or not, I don't know. I have uh, no clue. She may have lied to me about his name, so I don't... <coughs> necessarily trust information that I got from my wife in regards to that person, other than the fact that I know he's a Portland cop and that he's a partner to Officer Eric Carlson and Officer John Ray. I know what he looks like, but uh, but regardless, my wife was sleeping around with people in law enforcement, and so was her daughters. Uh, my wife's daughter, Megan Wager, got pregnant by Officer Eric Carlson's partner, David, who also happened to be in this thing operation. Essentially, the Portland police and the county sheriffs targeted me with a sting operation, and these sting operatives recruited my wife and daughters into their sting. Now, their sting is not has nothing to do at all about catching a bad guy. Their sting has everything to do with them committing and staging all the crimes with the intent of giving me the blame. And they were using Portland officers as photo doubles in order to set me up for crimes. And 
since they had my wife and daughters recruited into this, they were helping them to set me up. So they were trying to frame me as a fucking pedophile for their illegal video surveillance. And the whole time they were using a double. And my wife and her daughters were palling around and sleeping around with this officer. So they were setting me up for a multitude of crimes. A fucking multitude. Now, these sting operatives are using children in their goddamn sting operation. They're using their own brats, or they're using uh, civilian operatives' brats. Um, they have, there are people that are, pat, that are civilian operatives for law enforcement, and I can give you an example. The Dunham's family uh, has been civilian sting operatives for Portland Police and Multnomah County Sheriff for decades. They are pals and or relatives to people in law enforcement. And they assist police and county sheriffs here in framing people. And when, they, when county sheriffs use doubles to frame people, the Dunham's family usually provides their own children to perform for photogenic photos and to pose with doubles so that they could frame people as pedophiles. Now, the county sheriffs and the Dunham family have a long history of this here in Portland, Oregon. They were doing this shit to people back in 1971 here in the, uh, uh, in the Selwood area in southeast Portland. Uh, they were also uh, poisoning people that were witnesses to them using doubles and photogenic photos. So this is... This is th for all intents and purposes, this is a sting operation, but it's a sting operation where they're the ones that are committing to crimes with the, full, with the full intent of framing. Now, they have my apartment surrounded with Portland police officers and with their civilian operatives, the apartment manager being one of their civilian operatives. The apartment manager used to live in the, the building, the apartment building on the far side of the courtyard. Well, she moved over here after the Portland police took over the surrounding apartment, surrounding mine. She moved over here and moved into apartment next door to the Portland police, where the Portland police are uh, renting an apartment directly below mine. And she was helping and assisting them in their street theater performances. And their street theater performances consist of... Uh, their female operatives using children and directing their children and placing their children like in my path as I try to go down the stairs. So when I try to leave my apartment, they'll, use, they'll stage uh, a form of street theater performance, just like they do in a prostitution sting, just like they do in a drug bust sting. They, they have their operatives performing so that they can make the people that they're targeting look like bad guys. Well, they'll, they'll stage their street theater performances down at the bottom of the stairs, which is a bottleneck area, because uh, if I want to leave this apartment or uh, if I want to enter my apartment, I have to use these stairs, and, which means I have to go to that bottleneck area that's at the bottom of the stairs. Well, that's the area where they repeatedly, and I've demonstrated on a previous video in 2014, that they are, they are, in fact, staging street theater performances and that they're deliberately and intentionally placing children in front of me as I try to walk down my damn stairs to leave the, to leave the building. And I have no way to avoid these people because they, they deliberately place themselves in my path as I go down the stairs, and then they, they start making false accusations immediately after that. And I demonstrated that on video. I had my uh, cell phone camera running and I was just holding my cell phone down at my side so they didn't realize I was recording. So I was able to document the fact that they're using street theater performances in order to frame me and I caught them in the act of doing this. Uh, they, the police, I don't know if the female that had that child in the apartment directly below mine, I don't know if she's a civilian operative or if she's an undercover cop. I don't know which but she had a child under her care, and she was standing about, with that child, she was standing about 15 feet away from the bottom of the stairs, and they were just standing there waiting as I was getting ready to leave this apartment. And when I went out of my apartment and I w started walking down the stairs, the moment I took the first step, that's when that, that operative uh, turned around 
and holding her child by the hand, she started walking the child towards the bottom of the, st the direction of the bottom of the stairs as I'm going down the stairs. So she was trying to time it so that we would basically meet up at the same time at that bottleneck area at the bottom of the stairs. And uh, I'm disabled. I'm partially paralyzed. I use a cane. I don't know if, it's, if you can see it very well, but it's, it's leaning up against that cat, uh, uh, that cat bed area right there. Um, I can't go down the stairs very fast. And, uh, you know, I, I, I knew damn well why this lady was doing this. You know, this, uh, I documented the fact she's doing this. And I'm, I was going slower down the stairs than I would normally have to, just because of the fact that I didn't uh, want to be anywhere near these people. But this lady was deliberately slowing her pace down, too. So uh, she was trying to time it. And I basically caught on video and demonstrated how they're trying to time it so that we all like meet up at that bottleneck area. And they're doing this for the sake of their own video surveillance purposes because they want to make me look like a bad guy for their fucking video surveillance because they're fucking trying to frame me for fucking homicides that these goddamn Portland cops committed. That son of a bitch just shut the door. He just stepped inside. So he's been outside listening to me this whole time. He's been standing outside right in front of the apartment, right next door, near my window right there, and he's been listening to me the whole time. He just stepped inside. I don't know if I just heard him shut the door. Uh, I don't know if the sound of him shutting the door was picked up by this cell phone or not, but... Uh, every, everybody understands the fact that if if you're present, like in a room, for instance, if you're in a room and there's a noise that comes from someplace, if you're physically in that room, then you can differentiate where the sound comes from. Now, I'm very well aware of the fact that if, if the sound did register on this video, and I, if I put this up on YouTube, I'm aware of the fact that the listeners or and the viewers of this video are unable to determine where such noises come from. But you need to keep, you need to try to understand, I'm physically in this fucking room, so if there's a noise that comes from that direction, I can tell it came from that direction. If there's a noise that comes from this direction, I can tell it came from that direction. So that's how I know. Um, everybody understands that simple concept, and I'm just refreshing your memory on that concept because I'm aware of the fact that uh, uh, I have no way to prove where the sound that they make is coming from. Um, but I can tell where it's coming from. He just went inside the fucking apartment next door. Now this son of a bitch, he's a fucking cop. This son of a bitch and the bitch that he's with, he's a, they're fucking cops, man. They're, they're sting offers for law enforcement. I, what agency? I don't know. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I don't care if he's in the Portland Police or the Multnomah County Sheriff's. I don't care if he's in the Oregon State Police Department. I don't give a shit if he's Portland FBI. He's a fucking pedophile. Every goddamn one of them are. The simple fact that they're using doubles and they're fucking using children in their sting operations and they're placing children with doubles all the fucking time in order to make people look like bad guys, that's more than enough to charge them as pedos. Every damn one of these fucking apartments in this building and in that building on the other side of the courtyard is one-bedroom apartments. And yet the fucking Portland Police Department is trying to set me up as a pedal so they're filling these apartments, these one-bedroom apartments, with their civilian operatives that have brats. And then they stage street theater performances surrounding my apartment. And this is why it's bullshit, because no normal family would fucking move into any of these one-bedroom apartments if they got brats. Nobody, but the, they're they're not worried about they're not worried about that. They're so busy trying to make me look like a bad guy by placing their by surrounding me with their civilian operatives and their 
performing brats that perform for their video surveillance. Um, they're so busy with their perform their street theater performances that they forget how blatantly obvious it is that it's a sting operation because of the fact that no normal family would move with children would move into any of these fucking apartments. And yet they got that apartment on the other side of the courtyard and they got this apartment here, this apartment building here. It's just peppered with brats. And the reason why is because they're trying to set me up for crimes that Officer Eric Carlson and Officer John Ray committed. Uh, they committed a rape and a murder, and they were trying to set me up to get the blame. My wife, Joan Wager, and her daughters assisted them in the commission of that murder and were assisting them in framing me because she helped these officers to break into my home for the purpose of using Officer Eric Carlson as a double and for the purpose of planting evidence in my home. And I caught them in the act. Their break-in woke me up and thinking I was catching my wife in her affair with an armed cop, I put an audio recorder in my wife's purse to prove their affair and to prove they broke into my fucking home and to prove they're in my home that morning. Well, lo and behold, they were doing a lot more than they were doing a lot more than just having sexual relations. They were making child porn. They were using Officer Eric Carlson as a fucking double, and they were making child porn. And our daughter Kaylee Wager was assisting them. Was assisting them in this. They were posing for photogenic fucking photos, and it was Officer Eric Carlson's partners, and it was Officer Eric Carlson's whore ass girlfriend Joan Wager that was taking photogenic photos of him while he impersonated me and was dressed like me while he posed for photos in our daughter's bedroom. And this is what they were doing. And this is what they were trying to set me up for. And they were trying to set me up for a fucking homicide. Well because I caught all this on a fucking audio recorder that I put in my wife's purse when these people left my apartment, my wife left with them, and she took her purse with her, which means she had my audio recorder still running in her purse. And when they all got to Clackamas Walmart, they met up with my wife's sister, Vicki Rosales, and they were all bragging in detail to what they all just got done doing. And they admitted they were framing me as a pedo. They admitted that... <coughs> Uh, Officer Eric Carlson was sitting on our daughter's bed. They admitted that uh, Officer Eric Carlson, they took pictures of Officer Eric Carlson's dick. Uh, they admitted they got it all photogenic photos. They admitted that they uh, uh, poisoned my coffee pot. They admitted they are planting evidence in my home to frame me for their crimes. They admitted I was asleep at the time. They fucking admitted I was asleep at the time this occurred. <clears throat> and after they bragged, uh, after they, they, they admitted they got it on video surveillance too and they admitted they wanted that part erased because they just wanted to use their photogenic photos so that they could make me look like a bad guy. And after they bragged to all this to uh, Vicky Rosales, they as a group <coughs> of several people, as a group, these several people that just got done committing a murder and were setting me up to get the blame, they all went into the back of Clackamas Walmart and started bragging to everybody in the back of Clackamas Walmart and were recruiting Clackamas Walmart employees to lie for them while they printed flyers setting me up to get the blame. So these motherfuckers are guilty of murder. Uh, there's a shit ton of witnesses that they all arrived as a group at Clackamas Walmart and bragged in detail to their fucking crimes. There's a lot of witnesses to this. Um, these people raped and murdered a child, and they were fucking trying to set me up to get the blame, and they're caught on a fucking audio recorder bragging about all the details of it, and they bragged to an entire fucking Walmart store. Now, I am quite literally surrounded 
by fucking pedophile sting operative murderers, and it, these people are nothing more than a bunch of worthless piece of shit. The same goddamn way law enforcement takes over apartment buildings in drug bust sting operations, why that happens to be the exact same way law enforcement takes over apartment buildings so that they can commit homicides on people or they can frame people for, uh, as pedophiles or whatever. This is why they've taken over the surrounding apartments surrounding by because they're fucking setting me up to get the blame for their shit. And I caught them in the fucking act and can testify to it. And I can prove it to other people that they're fucking guilty. So they have no intention of having a trial. They're not here to have a trial. They're here to fucking frame my ass for their shit and then to murder me off. That's what they're here for. I'm going to end this vlog right now because... I'm very I'm in a lot of pain right now and I'm very pissed and I know I'm just going to I'm just going to go on and on and on if I don't stop myself right now